volunteers. We do have these forces out over here as well. So we're going to send these forces up north so we can have a... I don't know. Do we need them up north? Uh, not really. Not that much, really. Though I'll have them for when we do recruit more troops if we do. Right, so we should be able to make this force a hell of a lot more effective. So we have a 3 one, one and a 3 one, one So they're both just about as good as each other. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot better off now. Yeah. So we do actually have um, a power that's a lot better than in here now. So that's great for us. It's a shame that we don't have any artillery though. But that's going to cause us some issues. Right. Uh, 3 one, one, two, one, one, Though you do have that artilleryman which is quite important. There we go. You're more powerful now. That's what I like to see. Uh, these forces will be ready in the next turn. Yeah, they'll be ready in the next turn. That's what I like. Right, I do need more war supply. Need some more heavy artillery. Need some more of this. Raiders, we need to repair. You can just see how fast our war supply goes. It's just gone in a second. Right, so we're going to have these guys make their way back to port. So make their way back to Charleston. Of course, they could head into Norfolk, which would be better. Due to the fact that we have um, naval engineers over here. Right. I could send the Virginia Squadron to try and help out, but I think I'll send the Virginia Squadron over here to Norfolk. Which, I don't know, I might send my raiders over there then to Norfolk, which I think I will actually. If we concentrate the Union, uh, sorry, the Confederate Navy, then at least it's a little bit more powerful. And we can repair in Norfolk pretty well. Okay. So, Beauregard, you are a 424. Ah, uh, Joseph E. Johnston, you are a 424 as well, though you have good army administrator. And a skirmisher. For defender and deceiver. Right, so I think we're going to change the commands out here. We'll give command over to Johnston. There we go. Now the reason for this is because he has good army administrator. It provides a 15% increase in fatigue recovery in his stack. And skirmisher, the commander, allows an easy retreat during the first two hours of the battle. So that means that this force could indeed retreat a lot easier than if uh, Beauregard, well, Beauregard was in command. I think I will send these forces over here. Right, we'll have them go over there to meet up with those guys. Um, we could actually send... Well, I think we'll combine these forces soon to form another army. But yeah, we do need more forces. Just more men. Always more men. Right, that's 30 war supplies. I think what we'll do then is... Cut back on that. Um, cut back on the elite forces. We can do without that for... Oh, damn. Even that doesn't give us enough war supply. Mm, see, heavy artillery, isn't it? Uh, we'll cut back on the heavy artillery for this turn. We'll start building another big brigade of Confederate infantry. Get that ready. And then I think we are going to indeed make the push for Baltimore. Uh, no, sorry, uh, for Washington. It, uh, it could go very badly wrong. It could um, go well. Who knows? I'd like to find out, to be honest. I might assault this place as well while we're at it. I mean, we have a good amount of force that I don't think they'll be reinforced in this time. So I think we're going to have to just go for it, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, we have our great commanders over here. I mean, we have uh, bloody hell. It's really good. We have uh, Thomas Jackson over here. Then we have uh, James Longstreet, who's pretty good as well. The Gruder, he's pretty good. Second Division by Bonham. That's what I like to see. Okay. Actually, we could do with some commanders over there. So we'll send those commanders up over there to join that force. That force should be a hell of a lot better commanded then. Okay, do we have anything to play? Uh, let's take a look if there's anything in the log over here. So, breach, 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 yep, yep. Okay. United States succeed in retreating from Wayne, okay. Odd. Okay, they halted the attack because they didn't have enough men. While patrolling, yeah. 
inflicted 11 hits and uh, two in return. That's pretty harsh. Did we actually uh, raid anything this turn? Actually, to be fair, I'm gonna cancel that move. We're gonna have these guys just go on passive, really, if they can. Evade combat. As long as they're in here, they're denying the Union war supply and cash, and that's incredibly important. Right, we actually captured quite a lot over here in Roller. Yeah, 229 supplies. That's really good, then. That is very, very bloody good. We gain control of Fort Baxter. Fair enough. Yeah. Um. Right. Did we not actually? Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, during that turn, we sank uh, thirty-one cash and forty-eight war supply, and that's that's why we need to keep those guys there. They're paying for themselves by denying the Union those war supply and well, just those war supplies and cash. It's just. It's really important that we keep doing that, as long as possible. Right, we do have these forces up here in the north, but they're quickly running out of uh, bloody supplies already. It's crazy, they're already out. That's crazy. So I'll have them head back down here, then, if they can make it. If they can destroy the rails on the way out, that'd be fantastic. Right, head over here, then, I guess. 36 days, no matter what, then, whatever. Just try and make your way back then, guys. If you can destroy those rails, that'd be fantastic. But you can see here, we've got, like, these destroyed, these destroyed, these destroyed. If I can destroy these over here, that'd be fantastic. These guys are making their way back. That's what I like to see. Okay. Let's see, then. Um, loyal... Oh, no, sorry. Uh, political states, allegiances, that's what we're looking for. It's not too bad over here. In Philadelphia, it's fairly good. 45. 45. It's pretty good over here, 75. 57 over there in Washington. So we could try and increase it once again in Philadelphia, which I will do. We can make it difficult for them over there, then that's important. And Scorched Earth. Could we Scorch Earth anywhere? Important. We could over there, actually. Yeah, 45% loyalty, though we gain 20% of that cohesion back. That's incredibly good for us, to be honest. Right, so we're gonna scorch that earth. It means absolutely nothing to me, to be honest. It's just a random piece of crap in the middle of the wilderness, you know? It does not mean a goddamn thing. Uh, we could actually build some outposts somewhere. Yeah, let's see. Anywhere interesting or useful? No, not particularly. Fair enough, we could have some runners. So we're gonna get some runners, try and get some more uh, war supply in the following turn. How is the Union's national morale? The Union's national morale... Well, that. National morale is down to 85. Yeah, they are gaining a lot of strength. If we are going to do it, we've got to do it now. Ah, oh, God, I really want them to succeed in this attack. Okay. Right. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult. Very difficult, otherwise. Uh, do we want to keep these forces together, or do we want to send them out somewhere else? Oh, we can combine them, actually. So that uh, forms, like, what, 900 men? Yeah, 900 men. Yeah, okay. I just hope these guys succeed as well. But overall, we are causing quite a bit of damage for the Union. The fact that we have control of that region is um, effectively like cutting the rails. I'm not happy about this. We have very little, just practically nothing in this area, to be honest. Right, can we build some replacements for the fall in turn? Just some infantry to just boost our numbers a little bit. That would be quite handy. Okay. Let's pray that this succeeds. Provide a command. They have a penalty, actually. It's only 5%, uh, but that's still a penalty. Volunteers, brigades. Yeah, a lot of those men aren't actually commanded properly. So they have a 322 in command. We have um, our guy here over here at 424. So we should in fact be able to dictate the battlefield. We should be able to dictate uh, what plans we actually go for due to the fact that we know what they'll be using. So if we could try and get over there in 20 days, that'd be good. Well, let's see. Um, could be there in about 19 days. 
It's not good enough really, is it? I guess I'll send these men over here, then at least I've been put to use. Ah, uh, depends really. How many men is this? This is about 3,000 men. With these, we have like, what, uh, 4,000 men over here? Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty decent, you know? We'll have them defend and retreat if they're overwhelmed. But at least then we have a decent um, measure over here to protect Friedrich Town. Okay. I don't think I forgot about anything else. We'll go for it then. So I'm just going to have my coffee while I uh, watch the turns go by. Ah, uh, if we can drive the forces from Washington, then we're going to be in a fantastic position. Okay. We're going to maintain our raiders in the raiding lanes while the shipping lanes. Okay. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Mm -hmm. Right. It's just the issue that the Union forces are dug in incredibly well over there. Uh, oh, we just got another breach in uh, Alexandria. That's fantastic. Yeah, there's only 300 men left. 30. Oh, hello. That was a very bad move on your part, sir. And I've just finished uh, downloading Medieval 2. Oh, there's quite a few forces over here, apparently. Where have all these forces come from? These must be the individual brigades inside the actual city, but that's rather odd that they're coming out individually. Right, here we go. Yeah, you can see the advantage that we now have of the Union forces. It's uh, rather large, if I may say so myself. Ah, they're actually coming to attack us. Interesting. Whoa, lots of battles over here. Good, we won that one. Right, here we go, the most important battle. So we are outnumbered in infantry, though we do know what his plan is. So what numbers are we facing here? Um, he has about 17,000 men. How many do we have? We have, wow, we have 32,000, okay. 17,000, 4,500, another 3,000 here. We do have the numbers on him, actually. Um, he's going for an infantry charge. Interesting. Let's try and find the plan to be able to defeat him. Uh, Enfilade. I love Enfilade. It's really nice when it actually works. Right. We could go for unit overlap. Hmm. Okay, we'll go for unit overlap. Uh, this uh, battle plan uh, positions our units in checkboard fashion to eliminate gaps between our brigades, increases cohesion, frontage, and protection. Increase in protection and frontage would be really nice, and attack values for our infantry. Okay, guys, are you ready? Let's hope this works. We have a disadvantage in artillery as well. Not by much, though we do have the advantage in cavalry, so let's hope that this works for us. Oh, it's looking good so far. <laughs> Ah, that's good. If we can get these initial kills, that's really going to make a big difference in the battle. Yeah. Okay, here's the rest of the forces, but we've already dealt a lot of damage to the enemy. That's the important thing. The issue is that they're entrenched really well. Okay. Oh, yes! <laughs> Yes. That's it, bitch. Right, we've actually taken territorial control of Washington. Or the area around Washington. And we captured quite a lot of supply. Thank you very much, sir. I will happily take your supply. Now, we could probably pillage this area. Let's see. Do we, oh, we don't have pillage. God damn it. I needed that right now. That would have been handy. Ah, oh, well. Right, we could increase the loyalty in Baltimore. Ah, the load's pretty bad over here, actually. Uh, we'll increase it in Baltimore, then. Okay. Yeah, we drove that force out of there. That's what I like to see. That force is ably commanded now. So, what could we potentially do, then? We do have the siege artillery over here. We have a good amount of uh, resources. How the fuck have we not taken this? I won't ever understand that one. Okay. 
So the Army of the Potomac is not as strong as it once was. We could chase those guys. They'd be there in about eight days. Ah, uh, meh. We do have more forces available to us. Yeah, Walton's Brigade is going to be incredibly useful. We have these guys as well, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fan dabby -dozy. Right. Though, we have control of this area. That's what's important. Depending on how things turn out now, we can either dig in here or what. Uh, hmm. There's not much in the city. There's hardly anything in the city. How long could we... Right, we could be there in about 16 days. 9 days with that. 17 days. We'll send these forces over here then. Right, if you guys went along this way, you could be there in about 17 days. Um, if I had you force march, how long would it take you? Right, if they force march, they could be there in about 11 days. That is good. Yeah. Okay. Right. So Friedrichstown Town is no longer that important due to the fact that we actually have control of the area now. We just need to finish on taking um, Alexandria, which is somehow still holding out against us. Robert E. Lee will be ready in time. Can't wait till we get him. Okay. Yeah, we have our forces over here. Oh, wow. Did you fire off... How much ammunition did you fire off? You didn't fire off that much ammunition. It's just your cohesion's really low, actually. So we'll have you go back into port. And then you can recover that cohesion. 321. Eh, meh. Okay. Right. Yep, so you can see this turn... We sunk about uh, 26 cash, 53 war supply. There's a lot of British ships over here now. That's interesting. That is very interesting. There's a lot of forces in there. Yeah, militia. So they are going to be invading us at some point. Ah, hello there, you sons of bitches. Hello, hello, hello. I feel rather gratified about uh, bringing my guys home. Right. So we can keep them in the area. They're going to have to come up the river anyway. The Mississippi will be ready in 89 days. So, yep. There we go, guys. Hopefully, the Manassas could do some damage. That's what I like to see. Should be able to score quite a few kills, actually. Oh! <laughs> yes! It's all coming together, baby. It's all coming together. So... Union, what are you gonna do now, bitch? You got nothing. You got nothing. That's perfection. So we're sitting on top of St. Louis and Washington. That's ten points over there. And over here we have, uh, ooh, we have a lot of points. It doesn't actually look like that much, but taking Washington is worth a lot. Chiefly due to the fact it's their bloody capital. Yeah, look at their power just increasing rapidly now. Okay, can we build defensive positions? No. Runner, I'll try runner again. Ah. Right, I need to recover some cohesion. 1.26 a day, 1.27 a day. Yeah, I can't get that up like that. Not that it really does anything, it just shows you what the actual stats are this turn instead of it just like being meh. Right, that's good then. So, lots of good things this turn. Garrison over here. Nice. Yeah, these forces need to get back into, like, here or something. Well, actually, I'll have them head towards a fort, so they can head towards that fort. Evade combat. Okay. Right then, so we're gonna have, um, Shelby be my hammer in the Midwest. Actually, have you head over there, deal with those forces. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Albert, you're not actually finding any men, are you? So I guess we'll have you make your way to St. Louis. Is there any way we could make you get there? Oh, we could get you there in about 16 days by that way. Right, I could have these men actually stay within the city over here. They'll recover their cohesion a lot faster now. So that's good, they'll be ready to move. These guys are on their way as well. So they'll be there in about 17 days. I need them there faster. Uh, 17 days, is that the best I can do? God damn it, guys, come on. That's my riverine movement, come on. 17 days. 
24 days. We need to get here. Motherfuckers, you need to move faster. Right, if I leave your supply here, you could be- Ah, oh, god damn it! What do we have in here? The artillery. Okay. Right, if we leave the artillery here, how fast could we get there? We could be- bloody hell, 23 days? Ah, 17 days no matter what then. That's bloody irritating. But I'll have to go for that then. But yeah, we do have forces advancing on the area towards St. Louis, so that's really good for us. We've got these guys out here. They're really low, so I think what we'll do is we'll have um, a few of them go into port. Then they can go in passive, and they can recover cohesion, they can come back out. Yeah, that, that'll work out quite nicely. These batteries are huge. Look at the size of these buggers. They're absolutely massive. Yeah, hopefully the Manassas could really help us here. So they have militia, 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 some artillery. I'd like to capture that artillery, but you can see here why I decided to actually reinforce New Orleans considerably. Right, we have men over here. 150 men. Hardly anything, really. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. So I imagine there's another Union invasion force coming down to the south at some point. Which is not too bad. I mean, if they want to waste their men, then that's their choice. Bloody asses! they destroyed the um, rails over here, but we are somewhat outdone, aren't we? So we'll go back inside the city. Ah, our guys are actually over here, fantastic. Um, there's not really any supplies in there, but what I might do then is have you just rest for this time. You recover 1.4, well, sorry, 1.50 cohesion per turn. So, 15 days. Next turn, you'll be ready to go. We'll have you move on to Covington. You move on to Covington, you'll be fine. Yeah, so they've taken that area over there. Doesn't matter, really, to be honest. Yeah, lots of victories. Uh, I saw something bombarded. Bombarded. Where was it bombarded? Hmm. Not sure. Right. So we did quite a lot of damage to them on the way out. Okay. The Confederacy has requisitioned civilian transport. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So. What do we want to do now then? We have 75 war supplies. 74 war supplies, sorry. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start constructing... Hello. Allow intervention in Kentucky. Uh, the regions of Kentucky can now be entered by the Confederate forces. May or... Mm, yeah, no, I'd rather not do that, to be honest. <laughs> I'd rather not. Uh, arsenals. We need armories, really. Hmm. Yeah. Additional production of war supplies. Virginia and South Carolina will do that then. So that's uh, 40 war supply. We'll replace these units. And that... No, God. Uh, damn it. We'll save that then. Well, no. Okay. Right. That's pretty good then. That is pretty damn good. Where was the main battle then? Hmm, Virginia Cavalry. Yeah. Right, if we have you head over there. Try and destroy the rails if you can. But you can head over there, head into the um, actual fort itself. Get some supplies. You'll be good. Alright. Westmoreland. Right, so this was that battle. So this was the initial battle over here then. Alexandria. So these are what was in the actual defense of the actual city. The second battle, we destroyed that garrison. We um, lost this battle apparently, though we did inflict a lot more casualties upon the enemy. We have more forces as well. Okay. Yeah, so this was the battle over here then. The uh, Battle of Alexandria's defences, so more defence guys over there, the garrison. Over here, then. So this was the important battle. So we only took 1,000 losses. The Union only took about 1,000 losses as well, apparently. Right. Okay. But what's important is the fact that they no longer have that entrenchment value. So if we go back up over here. You can see here they had 188 uh, trench network effectiveness. So that's important. 
we go over here to the first uh, start of the round. So there's only one round of battle, apparently. Yeah. In place units. So that's what gave them quite a lot of their kills over there. But they won't have that next turn. Um, I might attack in the following turn. It depends really on um, how many forces I can try and get into this area. Right, get those guys. We need to get rid of that, to be honest. Uh, yeah, okay. Right, yo. Yeah, we have these guys over here. Okay. Good to see, good to see. So foreign intervention is now at 35%, so the foreign powers are definitely taking note of what's happening over here. Right. These guys now have some supply. Is there anything left in here? There's a little bit left in here. Uh, but we'd have to really use it to get somewhere else. So we'll stay there another turn, see if we can recover a bit more. We'll have them recover their um, cohesion, their crib in two a day. Yeah, these guys need to get out over here. These guys are absolutely fine. They've got zero problems. This force has now just become active. That's what I like to see. Good thing we got those supplies out there for you, isn't it? Okay. Now we could head out over there and take care of that militia. On the way to Santa Fe. So we'll do just that. Right. The Battle of Shawnee. Hmm, Douglas. Roller. Ah, here we go. Yeah, so we actually gained some Nash morale from this battle. So we only sustained about uh, 2,000 losses. They sustained about 5,000 losses. Uh, General Irvin McDowell. Yeah. And you can see here, they had 385% trench effectiveness. And they still lost the battle. Let's see, actually. Yeah, so our plan actually uh, failed. If it had succeeded, it would have been a lot better. But they don't have that entrenchment value in there, so that's great for us. Absolutely fantastic. Right then, so we're gonna have our guys go forward. Hopefully we can get some reinforcements over to the um, Washington area, reinforce our army there. But we got quite lucky here, the Union's forces have just kind of been in the wrong areas, especially this army. This army could have been a hell of a lot more dangerous if it actually moved around. But it really didn't, which I'm not complaining about. I am not complaining about that one bit. Right. Hopefully we should be able to gain some cohesion. Yeah, those guys are moving via rail. So they've just repaired that rail. Yeah, the Union's now realizing, oh shit, they're on top of Washington. Oh, hello. Are they attacking us? They are, apparently. That's really not a wise idea, sir. Especially with half the numbers. There we go, Shelby. Yeah, ooh dear, ooh dear. Have they been reinforced? I think they may have been reinforced. Shit. Um, we didn't actually get to recover much, did we? Shit. Right, skirmishers, wide spacing could help us. Increases cohesion, frontage protection, and type balance for infantry, but if it fails, right, we're gonna have to go with wide spacing. Let's pray that we could win this. We do have double their numbers right now. Come on. It's looking good so far, we're doing a lot of damage to the Union. They'll be reinforced shortly, I'd imagine. Well, at least I'd imagine, but it doesn't seem so. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. That works out really well. And then the second battle. The Union's throwing its troops away. Absolutely throwing them away. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is why I wish I could do, like, impressions of Emperor Palpatine. Holy shit. We've just butchered them. Right, we've been attacked in St. Louis as well now. Come on, you guys need to hold out of St. Louis. Ah, shame, but you'll have reinforcements soon enough. But that's incredible. Oh my god. That could not have gone much better than that. If we'd held St. Louis, but god damn it. Yeah, these guys are really low on cohesion now, which is a problem. But they are digging in, and that's the important thing. 
Right, those guys will be there in about 11 days. I need men in this area. God damn it. They're bringing more men over.